So there's asymmetric warfare with online races sometimes. Rutabaga Warrior has taken an interest in my life before this, and I found him at the same time as I found Latex Bread Machine. And on my other channel, I've addressed them. I might not have addressed them here, uh, but, but it's important to talk about them because Rutabaga Warrior has a lot of anti-black videos where African-Americans are depicted as they are. And they are doing awful things like exposing very young children to guns and then talking about the Third Amendment or the Second Amendment or whatever, like displaying a, a profound ignorance, not just of what we should do, but also of what is out there, like an, an ignorance of facts that really would only probably perplex you further if you got into a conversation with them. But there's a them and us, and they are the awful blacks. And that is Rutabaga Warrior's highest topic. That's the topic he prefers to bring up over and over again. Now he's got, like I said, it's asymmetric warfare because he has the entire internet and he has the entire world, therefore, and he can cull the fruit. And so he gets to just go out there and say again and again, black people are awful, look at this. And then what do we want to do with them? And they're great humans, aren't they? And the reason he says humans is because I'm trying to fix the N-word and make it mean human. But he doesn't view the N-word as unfair. Instead, he views it as a tool. A tool with which we ridicule black people and attack them. I don't think he should be censored. I think he should be educated. Because you can counter every one of those videos that shows black people misbehaving with other videos where black people are heroic. And I don't want to in, engage in that kind of conflict where it's just reputation battles and he's attacking over and over the reputation of people I care about. I care about not just the guy that was teaching the babies. They were babies with guns in uh, his third latest video. I'll link to it. It is, uh, it's terrifying. I find guns so scary and I find people's comfort with them to be disconcerting, even when it's people's very responsible comfort with them. Like uh, the comfort of putting it in a safe every time when you're not getting it out and then locking that safe. Still, I feel like guns are dangerous and they largely aren't worth having. But somebody might say, well, you can't have security at your house if you don't have a gun to deal with potential attacks. I don't know who's attacking people at their house. I guess some people out there. And as the world gets more urban, the people that attack houses will have a harder time surviving. So I care about the guy that is exposing the kids to guns, but more than that, I care about the kids that are being exposed to them. And Rutabaga Warrior instead has a different point to make. He says, look, this is black misbehavior and misbehavior is bad, what does that make you think about black people? And what do you want to do with them? And you can do anything with them, including have a nation without them. And he asked that question over and over again. Why is that asymmetric warfare? Because there's no argument that can go on about somebody's reputation that won't leave that reputation damaged. And when you do it on a larger level, a racial level, where does that lead? Between the Hutus and the Tutsis 
in Rwanda, there were misbehaving black people, but there were also black people that were being misbehaved upon, that were hunted and killed. So those people, I don't want a world without them. It sucks that they're hunted and killed. Those people were innocent. But because of the, it's essentially a gossip circle, and I've lived through gossip circles. Premed 2, in my opinion, ran a first-rate gossip circle against me. He uh, justified all of my trolls. He spent time and respect with people promoting absolutely nonsensical uh, irrelevancies and unfairness that had no concept of my actual arguments. He never engaged in the arguments at all. Well, Rutabaga Warrior won't either, because he doesn't have to, because his goal is to add fuel to that fire of racism and to just say over and over, look, black people, hey, did you see this video? Look how bad a black person is behaving in it. I can make a joke about that misbehavior. Oh my God, my joke is clever. And he can do it until you are comfortable, until you've situated and you've normalized his attack on, on blacks. So I find that problematic. And YouTube does too. The community guidelines say against it. But I don't see his videos being taken down and I'm not sure they should be. I don't know what to do about it besides post pro-black content. But that's the problem is that I don't want to scour the internet looking for images of black people that are admirable just because one person is attacking them, but it's not one person attacking them. It's full police departments. It's full, you know, communities. It's a very huge system of thought racism and adding fuel to that fire is the internet's game plan. It is internet 101 is often extremely extreme racism. And it just gets normalized and justified by people like Rutabaga Warrior, who next will change his name to um, I don't fucking know something goofy and cute, like Potato Smile, and then or Rutabaga or Warrior, where where his actual message is not reflected in it. So while I will change my name legally and actually in my real life to crazy to try and put a taboo on the word crazy, while I put blood in the game and sweat and tears, he's gonna flip his name to something cute and then say something with a green wiki face and say, oh, hey, look how awful black people are. And then he'll say it again in a different way and again in a smarter way and again in a more thoughtful, and again in a more moral way that gets you thinking, oh my God, he's right. What are we gonna do with these black people? As if we have something to do about a group of people. Now, gun control is important to me, but Rutabaga Warrior doesn't care about gun control. His argument looks the same as that black guy's. He, he would mention the Second Amendment. He would say, anyway, so I'm just saying, oh, Jeez, man, it rips us apart. It makes us less moral as human beings, psychologically and actively and in fact, it makes us worse. Racism makes us all worse off. And if a person doesn't see that, that is a personal failing. And if you can educate them, awesome but I don't have the actual solution to that because that propaganda is out of control and there's nothing we can do that I know about it that doesn't turn us into bad guys. Censorship approving bad guys, you know? It's hard, how do you maintain your soul in the face of it?